Hi guys, my name is Amy Cho. I'm a golf professional. Today, I'm going to help you become a long hitter like the tour players, and I'll be breaking down your footwork. If you've seen a lot of my golf lessons, you know that I emphasize on the lower body usage of the core muscles and the synchronization of the whole movement. I know it's complex, but I always do my best to amify the whole situation, meaning making it simple, fun, and effective. And today I'll be analyzing your footwork to make it as simple as possible. And to do that, I'll be using my IOFIT golf shoes. Uh, don't let these cute looks fool you. Uh, it, it's beyond just a pair of golf shoes. It has amazing kind of computer system inside. In the corner of this screen right now, you probably see my feet moving around. Um, that's what the shoes are doing right now. It's capturing how my uh, weight is shifting around. So let me explain about the shoes really quickly before I start my lesson. Basically, the good thing about IOFIT is that it analyzes how your weight is shifting during the swing. You're able to record and check out your positions, take away top of the backswing impact, etc., etc., to see how well you're doing compared to the professionals. And also because you can use it to practice, the immediate feedback is excellent when you're doing swing changes, okay? And also, uh, lastly, you're able to wear it on the golf course. So you're actually able to record how you do in the real situation compared to the practice sessions and see if you move differently under pressure or out on the golf course compared to the practice tee. It is an item I truly love because I emphasize on the pressure distribution and usage of the lower body. All right, having said that, let's go right into analyzing the wrong way shift in the driver's swing. So in the driver's swing, I always say you cannot shift all at once like the iron because then you're gonna go down blow into it, hit down and the, you're gonna most likely pop it up or you're gonna hit it weak right. We don't like those. Or another case could be the, the early extension or the hip spin out movement because with the driver I emphasize on hanging back, bottoming out the club head and catching the ball in an ascending manner. So the hanging back is really important but if you thrust your hips forward now the hips are ahead you won't be able to hang back and you're gonna have to hit the golf ball using your arms like that or you can use the upper body to try and hang back this is gonna cause some injuries in your back and your neck, and you're gonna yank through or cast through, hitting it thin, fat, slice, hook, all kinds of missed shots we don't want. Now, let's check out the correct way shift for the driver's swing. All the tour players are actually very different from one another. There is not a perfect pattern, but there is obviously a textbook you know, weight transfer pattern that we all want to achieve. The closest one to that is Justin Thomas. And as we know, he's not huge, but he's like ranked 11th in the world when it comes to driving distance. He hits it well over 300 and he does this the best, I think. And the way he does is that he starts center, and then when he rotates, he actually tries to keep it more 50-50, but because his rotation, his pressure goes into the right heel, the trail heel. And then when he starts the downswing, he goes boom, about 90% in the front left. And then he hangs back and at impact, he has about 90% in the front right. And then after he hits it, he finishes, we transfers all the way into the left heel. So it goes right heel, front left, front right, left heel. So this is the pattern we want. And honestly, I don't have the best weight transferring with the driver. So when I was preparing for this golf lesson, I was uh, practicing it. And when I got it really nice, one of the times on average, I was hitting it 10 to 15 yards farther and I wasn't hitting it hard. But I mean, it totally makes sense because if you put your body weight I won't reveal how much I weigh, but if you put your weight into the golf ball and utilize that as source of power, obviously you're going to gain more distance, which means if you are bigger than me, you have bigger source of power, free source of power standing here, might as well use it, right? <laughs> okay, so now you understand the correct pattern, it should be like this. Now we just need a drill to help you get there. 
You're gonna grip the club with your left hand, lead hand, and then you're gonna grip the other end with your right hand, shoulder width apart, a little bit wider. You're gonna stand up straight like this, but we're gonna bend the knees ever so slightly, okay? Now from here, pretend like you're Justin Thomas. You're going to turn center 50-50, boom, and check out where your weight is here. Are you, did your weight finish in the front or in the other foot? I want it to end up in the trail foot. Heel, outside right heel, okay? From here, number two, you're going to get into your golf setup, boom, and then step into the front left about 90%. And now you're going to swing down, hang back, you're gonna feel the pressure in the front right about 90%, after the impact goes into the left heel. Let's try that again, that's four steps. Number one is rotate into the right heel, number two, step, number three, hang back, number four, left heel. If we're ready, let's go ahead and hit. I know I'm still a little bit uncomfortable with it because it's new to me too, uh, but I, I'm not worried because I know if I just put a little work on it, eventually I'll get comfortable with the pattern and I, will, I won't have to think about it, it'll just come natural to me and I know I'm starting to hit it with a little bit more power and I'm not hitting it any harder, so I'm pretty happy about it. So I'll work on it, I would love you guys to work on it. You understand the pattern now, try the four step drill I showed you. Get this in your body so you can hit it long and straight like Justin Thomas. In case you guys have more questions on the shoes, I'm gonna link that down below, go check it out. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.